is here, you may have found yourself sneezing, coughing, wiping your eyes a little more often than not. That's right, and Bree Guy reports that's why early action can help keep your senses clear as you get ready to head outside. <coughs> coughing, <Achoo>! sneezing, itchy eyes, it's spring in the Windy Valley. Allergies and asthma are the leading causes of hospital visits and missed work or school for the millions of sufferers. Dr. Joel Katz, a board certified allergist here in Las Vegas, says One of the population who suffers from allergy. And as the counts get higher, you get a larger and larger percentage of the population who get affected. The Allergy and Asthma Foundation of America reports thousands die each year from asthma attacks or anaphylaxis, or life-threatening allergic reactions. Black Americans, women, and adults are more likely to die from asthma or allergies. This is due in part to... These groups tend to be more undertreated and minimize the symptoms, and if, if we don't recognize asthma, and we don't go ahead and treat it, then um, this can lead to fatalities. On a blustery day like this, when the winds are blowing those allergens around, your allergies really start to act up. This is why early prevention is so important to keep that tissue box tucked away. This time of year, mulberry, olive, ash, and grass pollen are top allergens that cause problems. Early action includes avoiding contact with the allergens by limiting your time outside. But that's not always easy. Dr. Katz has some tips. Use air conditioning both in your home and in your car. Um, when you get home, you should take a shower to wash the pollen out of your hair. One can use um, antihistamines and nasal steroids. Now, if one is coughing, shortness of breath, or have wheezing, then you'd need to be evaluated by a physician because this is likely asthma. And remember.